All right, two parts to this video. Actually, one part, one video, two versions. There is a version that you're going to see here with plant material and a version you're not going to see plant material on a regular Grows channel. One is John Grows, one is John Special Grows. You put the C word in things, they start doing it. So here's everything you need, how to do it, how to grow it, not grow it, make it, and we'll go from there. Two versions of the videos, we'll see which one you watch, and uh, enjoy the edibles, guys. What you're going to need for this project is coconut oil. You can get any variety you want. You're going to need four tablespoons of that, so you're going to need a measuring cup. You're going to need jello, flavored and unflavored. You're also going to need a pot. That one's pretty beat up. You're going to need a double boiler. These are on Amazon for like 17 This works well. You're going to need a spatula and an instant temperature gauge. This is one you pop in and it reads right away. You are also going to need molds, a strainer, and then we're going to do VPD, so you're going to want to get yourself one of them charts. That's what you're going to need. It's four tablespoons of coconut oil, eight tablespoons of water. You adjust accordingly. You'll see how it works in the video. All right, so this sound's going to suck. I'll have to voice it over. But this has been going four minutes. We're not going to show plant material. Obvious reasons. What we're going to do, however, and we're going to 
take what's in there, dump it in here using this, which is a strainer like that. When it's done, let it all drain down. We squish it real good. We leave what's left over in here, in here. Now, if you don't like the little pieces that are left in there from various materials, you can clean it out. I leave it in, it doesn't bother me at all. The Jell-O's got such a sweet taste. You saw pictures of that in the beginning. So, we got our strainer. We have our measuring cup. You can use anything you want. Measuring cup, I just, I keep that out to uh, constantly add water because this will boil off the coconut oil will not and of course I showed you in the beginning of things you'll need this actually came with this double boiler it was like 15 bucks on Amazon so we just take this and we want to get that material out of there I'm trying to do this over a hot stove So, and then I try and just get all that out. I'll drain this and we'll come back when I'm done and show you where we are at. All right, so if you watched the last one, there's a major screw up at the end. And uh, if you could figure it out, great. If not, I had to reshoot it the next night because I ruined the whole batch. I didn't edit the video. So, you can see it. So what we got now, four tablespoons coconut oil, six tablespoons water. You can do up to eight. I'm choosing six. We're only going to make eight. I'll move the camera over when we do it. But once we start, we start and I can't stop or it'll make a mess. Make sure you add this stuff. There's a picture in the beginning. This helps the oil and water mix. And this goes pretty quick. It takes about five minutes to mix up. And then we dump. I'm going to turn the camera off right before we dump. And I'll try and turn it back on and get the dumping because that makes a little bit of a mess too. So last steps. One pack of flavored Jello. Two packs of unflavored Jello. There's usually four in a box there. And a wisp. Takes about five minutes. We'll start with one of them. And begin the stirring. You're going to have to stir it for a while. You'll feel it. It'll start to loosen up. Double boiler you can get on Amazon. It's loosening up good. It's nice and hot. Pack number two. That's too unflavored. Then once you put the jello in, you're really going to feel it. And then it'll start to loosen up, and that's when we pour. This is a modified recipe from about four or five different websites. Everybody does it a little bit different. This is the way I found to work the best for me. Doesn't mean it's right for everybody. One thing I do know or have learned is... After you mix all this up and you pour it, let it sit out 45 minutes, then put it in the fridge. It helps get the sliminess out of it, so to speak, and it works well, trust me. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. I need a couple paper towels to drop that wisp on. You get the idea, you'll feel it. I'm going to pause and I'll come back right when we shoot the pouring. All right, here we go. This ain't the easiest.
think you can see it. Too much in that one. My bad. I rushed. I'm rushing because I'm on video. And that's just stupid. Just makes it harder to clean up. My wife usually does it, so God bless her for that. Alright, we're going to get eight real good ones. Probably four to eight, okay. It's really starting to thicken now. We're going to get at least two more. Maybe a little bit more. Heat it back up for a sec. Alright, it's too late. It's just going now. It's going to start getting hard. Good for some things, not for others. Alright, we got seven good ones. Might get eight. If I didn't spill it, we would have got the eight. If you go... Eight teaspoons and don't spill it like I did. Actually, with six teaspoons and don't spill it like I did, you would have got eight. You do the eight teaspoons of water, you probably would have got uh, twelve. So there they are. You can get smaller molds. I just find these easier to pour. I rust a little bit, so it's not the cleanest. It'll just be a little bit harder to clean up. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the rebound. Comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I got to get to letting this sit 45 minutes and editing this video. It's going to be two versions. One with plant material, one without. One will get banned or blocked, age restricted, all kind of stuff. The other won't. So we'll see. This one's more detailed.